Morning everyone, Ian from DIY Home and Gardening, 16th of March. On the allotment, it's finally not raining and I'm with the seed potatoes because I'm going to do my planting today. Now, before I do, it's probably worth having a chat about it. So, I'll turn the camera around and we can have a look and a discussion. There are many crops that we grow and for some reason potatoes seem to be the one that confuses people the most or possibly the most and I don't really know why um, and I think most of it is surrounding the, the word chit or chitting and what that means and people just have it in their head that this word is mystical and it's something that they need to do and whatever um it don't worry about it is the is the first thing so these are first early potatoes which basically means you plant now and you'll get an early uh crop about the june time these are a second early type variety which again you can plant now or you can plant towards the end of the month and you'll get a crop that is not as early as these but not as late as a main crop potato so somewhere around the july time and then you get main crop potatoes which i'm not growing this year which you tend to plant once you get into april and they take a longer time to produce a crop from and typically they're not available to harvest until the july august time so an early potato as well it's worth pointing out has a cropping time of roughly 12 weeks and it's early potatoes that you also use or can also use for growing as a um, christmas potato because of the short cropping cycle now varieties i'm growing pentland javelin as always from a first early and this one is a new variety acoustic which i'm growing as my second early now both of these varieties are bought from the garden center uh, they've been produced by taylor's bulbs which are a good bulb and uh yeah bulb producer now i bought these in january you will notice they haven't got massive long shoots to them um, which people often refer to as being chitted and that's a bit of a, a mistake really to to make now the word ch chitting or chit really it just means breaking the dormancy on this potato being a normal potato versus starting to produce some growth so as soon as it starts to produce a little bit of growth so that's whether it's these seed potatoes or the supermarket potatoes that you've bought and haven't got around to eating that is chitting so breaking dormancy and as i say the, these are bought they've been in my greenhouse on the top shelf nice light position warm conditions and so they've been quite happy and you'll see that on these ones even where they've got the shoots to them it's a nice compact shoot now the reason that you tend to end up with really long shoots on the seedling potatoes is where they're kept in a position that is actually too dark so like with all other plants that that shoot there is trying to get to the, find some light so it stretches up and up until we can get enough light to sustain it by putting these in the greenhouse nice light position there's no requirement for that so um chitting why do we chip now the first thing to point out really is chitting is very much um without sounding bad it's a very much an amateur method and the reason i say that is because on a commercial scale you can't do it farmers cannot allow a potato to start sprouting say like that start sprouting and then plant it 
that way up in a um, furrow or trough uh, as they're you know, working the fields. Can't be done. So all they do, they keep their potatoes at four degrees as a storage, uh, nice and dry environment. Um, and so don't bother planting until the ground they're planting into is six degrees. Nice and simple. For us, amateur growers, uh, I say amateur because you know, I include myself because I don't make a living out of what I do. Um, there's this thing, this word, chitting, that everyone works towards. You must chit your potatoes. There is no reason to have long growths on your potatoes before you plant out. If you have those long growths and you've really actively encouraged your seed potato to get going before you plant out, and you're planting now in particular, so middle of March, there's a very real risk that because your potato is actively growing before you plant it, when you plant it into that ground, on the assumption that the ground is warm enough, but when you plant it into that ground, first thing it's going to do is that potato is going to carry on shooting upwards trying to get more light because it's got light at the moment you put a layer of soil over the top it can't get any light so it's actively going to try and push up to try and get that light that it already had before and that's that's fine for a growth stage but when you're in March through to middle of April even there's still a very real chance of cold temperatures, frosts, and if you've got these nice active shoots all popping up through your soil and they've not been acclimatised to that growing condition over a longer period of time, then the first thing that's going to happen is that as soon as the cold hits, they're going to get frosted. The stems will get blackened or go purplish, and that will actually negatively affect the, the cropping cycle of the potato. So it has a detrimental effect or potential for detrimental effect if you've actively encouraged this whole chitting method. Um, which, you know, for myself, I don't. I'm not really interested in getting these really long shoots and whatnot. And, you know, it's a bit of a nonsense for me. And quite frankly, it takes up too much space on the windowsills if you've got the potatoes sitting there for months on end um, the other thing I don't subscribe to is the whole notion of planting out and earthing up it's um yeah too time consuming for my liking but um yeah we'll come to that as a next stage so we've talked about the potatoes um so main crop you don't need to worry about this concept of chitting at all anyway because by the time they go in the soil will be yeah, you know, lovely and warm, they'll soon get away. But um yeah, let's get these planted or closer to the ground and then we can uh, discuss planting as well. Right, okay, got our potatoes. What about spacing? So for earlies, second earlies, about 30 centimetre spacing. That is sufficient. When you come to doing your main crop, 45 centimetre spacing. So one foot, 18 inches, depending on the types you're dealing with. Uh, so, you know, it depends how you want to do it, whether you want to put potato in, plant as you go, or set them out. Um, I quite like setting all mine out first, because then I know how far it's going to work out if I've got enough potatoes of each type, or if I need to make some more. If I need to make some more as an infill and you've got a particularly large potato like that, you can make a nice clean cut through the middle and plant two sections. So that's the first thing. Let's get the bed set out and then uh, we'll have a look at planting. Right, so that's my approach to it. I'll set them out first work out what I need to do so you can see I'm one short there but that's a big old potato with multiple eyes so that's going to be cut down and then what I did initially I'd set them out first early second early butted straight up to it 
but then as I worked out, it would end up with a bit of space there. So what I'm going to do instead is I've moved the second earlies that away. So they'll be essentially starting that end. First earlies will be that way. And then I can then plant something through the middle there, such as some broad beans, which are, act as a, a bit of a separation uh, to avoid mixing up. And it also mean that um, you can then harvest the first earlies, knowing that that's my barrier. Once first earlies are lifted, that area can be prepped and planted with a new crop whilst this lot continues its uh, well development for sort of a, another three or four weeks until that's ready for lifting and then that would be planted so that's the method that i'm going with and just nip across here um, and again you can see it's going to be short one there but again i've got big potato there multiple eyes so when we say eyes it's sort of the, where the shoots are developing so we've got some there around the side and also there so that one lends itself to being cut through the middle to give you enough pieces to go there and it's worth mentioning that each one of these potatoes will give a crop um, between 8 to 12 potatoes so that's sort of a, a guideline uh, obviously that is dependent on watering feeding and varieties but that's sort of your your basic guidelines there so yeah next stage get a bit of planting done That's the planting done. Next stage. Get the manure over. So this is how I do it. And it just takes out that requirement for earthing up because you're going to make sure that you've got a good six inches worth of coverage above that potato. Plus you're going to be putting loads of great nutrients in there, ready for when they want to get going. Right, and there we are. Blanket of manure on. You can see that's giving it some proper depth over the top. So uh, five barrel loads have gone on there so uh, yeah that will give me the uh, well it give me about six inches 
at least over the top of those potatoes which I know this is going to sink down as it um, breaks down but uh, once the plants start growing and we get to uh, sort of May then I'll do another application just to top up but yeah so that's the first early's done and then it'll just be a case of repeating the same process on those second early's and that's that that is first early's at least but that's potatoes planted out um, hopefully demystified a little bit of the crop that is potatoes for you uh, but if you've got any questions then obviously please send them to me I'll do my best to answer them as always uh, hopefully make the process of gardening and growing your own easier for yourselves uh, if you do like what I'm doing then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing but more importantly and I always say it because it is so true just have fun enjoy what you're doing don't worry so much about other people take your time to try something different and whilst the sun's out well the sheep are over there but whilst the sun's out just make the most of it have uh, an enjoyable weekend till next time bye for now